the last clip. Okay, yeah, Steve wanted me to talk about rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. So what we do here at Yoga Oasis is we get the heat cranked really high. We have steamers, we have far infrared heaters, and what we do is we work on rinsing out our body. Like by the time you're in class, you are saturated, completely drenched with sweat. He's the king of sweat right here. Yeah, you but know. completely drenched with sweat. So basically you're releasing all those extracellular fluids out of your body. You're helping the cells work better. You're improving your circulation, you're improving your well-being. You feel great because you actually did something good for yourself. But a lot of the practice, especially the way I teach it, it's a lot about willpower and controlling your willpower, controlling your breath, controlling your body, controlling your emotions. I mean, it's pretty far out stuff. I mean, the breathing is the only thing that's voluntary and involuntary. At the same time, I mean, you could do it, you could breathe to survive, or you could breathe to thrive. So that's what we practice in here, is how to breathe and allow the breathing to kind of bypass our emotional center and just go straight to action and reaction and not getting caught up in the old patterns of action and reaction, but creating healthier patterns that when you leave the room, you're changed. You're truly a changed person. I'm talking about a changed person. Talk about this guy. He's totally a changed person, huh? She's the master. She and King James, Queen Mary, King James, I always say it, they have made 2020, for me personally, into a year of achievement, into a year of feeling good about myself, in a year that had absolutely disaster throughout the whole world written all over it. This was my personal savior. The church, the oasis, has given me reason to breathe through this 2020, through the oasis, through yoga. I beg my brothers and sisters to come on back to the greatest place on earth, the oasis. 2021 is going to be a much better year. We're going to defeat this pandemic. We are going to defeat it, but it starts here at the oasis. Because I'm going to tell you, medic mentally, physically, and spiritually, 2021, it's all about hot yoga. It's all about our place, our church, our Mary, our genes. It's about priorities, right? Your body is your number one priority. I mean, you have to live with yourself. You have to live inside this body, inside this vessel. I mean, thank God for 2020 because people woke up and realized the importance of their health. I mean, if you're not healthy, you're going to be terrified of this virus. We're not scared because we know we're healthy. A couple of things that also why we're not scared. The room is 130 degrees. If you look up look that up online, COVID and temperature, especially 130, it's pretty special temperature. It's pretty safe in here. But also we have filters in our heat system that go down to the virus level. So it's not like we're just, you know, saying screw this, we're just gonna work out anyway. No, we're being really, really smart. We're doing the best we can to be healthy. We've been meeting up and doing this with Steve what, since August. Yep. So even doing... even before that, and this place has been state of the art, this place has taken all responsibility. This this place has gone beyond the call of duty to make it right, safe, and smart. They work very smart here. We do everything you know, to respect and stay humble of the pandemic, but at the same token, embrace not live in fear. the oasis and not live in fear. So there is common sense and the oasis is, is all about that. Yeah, I mean, the biggest challenge of this year is people just got stuck in a sedentary rut, stuck in front of the TV. And so I invite you to come back here and just sweat it all away. Don't live in the fear, we're gonna live in the love and Bring your spiritual practice here to the Yoga Oasis. Happy, healthy you. new year. Happy new year, everybody.